Today we're going to look at some numbers, and the first number we're going to look at is 3. All right. Then we're going to look at a decimal, 4.2. Let's look at a negative number, negative 7. Let's look at a fraction, 5 eighths. How about a square root, square root of 8? How about the number 0? How about 107? We can even write the number out in word, 8 billion, which is a really, really big number. Okay. Well, we have some other numbers, and I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but pi is the ratio of the circumference to a diameter of a circle, and it's 3.1415, and it goes on forever. So that's a never-ending decimal. Another number we want to look at is E, and that's kind of hard to explain uh, in, in a sentence, but it's actually never ending decimal as well, and it's 2.71828, and it goes on and on and on and on and on. So let's look at a couple more here. Um, I, I is equal to the square root of negative 1. That's an, that's an imaginary number, but it's still a number. What do all these numbers have in common? Well, they're all numbers, that's true, but they all stay the same no matter what. So if we go back to the number 3, there's literally nothing we can do to change what that number is uh, represents. In other words, you know, three wise men, right? Or you heard the expression, two's a company, three's a crowd. Or maybe somebody you know is three years old, or you own three vehicles, or whatever. That number cannot change. It's not equal to two, it's not equal to four, it's, it can only be three. The same for these other n numbers. They don't change. They represent a certain number that... Uh, can represent a, a real world phenomenon like five eighths for example maybe that's how much milk you should put in a recipe and zero of course is nothing and that doesn't change either it's not equal to point oh one it's only zero so um, what word are we looking for that explains what I'm talking about numbers that don't change that word is constant and we're gonna look at a more specific definition in just a second but, here's a great example. If you have a $10 bill in your pocket, that's not changing, right? It's worth $10. It's not worth 20 It's not worth 15 It's worth $10. And certainly the number that's on the bill is definitely not going to change. It can't, right? Nobody's going to come in and delete that and change the number. So that's an, another example of a constant number. And sometimes what happens in math is we use letters to represent constant numbers, and we'll get more in, in more advanced later on. But if we if we use a variable, say t, to represent ten dollar bill, and we set that equal to ten dollars, then that particular example, t, would be a constant number because we've stipulated that it's equal to ten dollars. That's not changing. T represents ten dollar bill, and it's equal to ten dollars. A lot of times in math. We also use the letter C because C is the first letter in the word constant. And if we say C equals 7, well, that's not changing, right? That's a constant number and will always be equal to 7 for that particular problem. And that would also be considered a constant number. And we also use the letter K sometimes. I guess K kind of sounds like constant. But if we said K equals 11.8 and we went on to work on an equation, well, k is not changing. It's not equal to 12. It's not equal to 11 or 57 or whatever. It's always equal to 11.8. So the real definition we're looking at uh, of a constant number is that it's a fixed number that does not change. We're going to look at another word in our next lesson, variable, and that's the opposite. Variable numbers change. Fixed numbers do not. And you could probably think of a lot of other fixed number uh, real life scenarios and maybe we'll talk about that at the end of the video just to help solidify the concept. So the point of this lesson is to identify what a constant number looks like and basically if you see an actual number like on the number line or um, or even an unreal number like square root of negative one or any kind of number in general it's going to be a fixed number. Variables are usually represented by letters although we just looked at some um, special cases pi is actually a constant number so you just need to know that e is also a constant number anytime you see e in math 
lowercase especially, that is a constant number. It's equal to 2.71828 and it goes on forever. And the other one is i. i is also a constant number. It's equal to the square root of negative 1. And believe it or not, it shows up in an equation which explains the position of electrons. And electrons make up basically everything. And so that's interesting that an unreal number would show up in that equation. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and look at some examples. Which of the following are constant numbers? So basically, I'm just going to circle the ones that are constant. Or actually, I will square them off. So first one we have is 10. Is that a constant number? Well, is it equal to 11? Is it equal to 12? Is it equal? No, it's only equal to 10. So therefore, it is a constant number. Now, next we have x. x is not a constant number. x is a variable. A variable is a number that changes over time. It can take on many different values. And we'll talk more about that in another lesson. So we're not going to square off x, but we are going to square off 8. 8 is also a constant number. It cannot change. Um, 8 means um, 8 is a lucky number in Chinese culture and that number will probably always be that way, right? And um, Or if you had octuplets, you'd have 8 kids, right? It's a fixed number that represents a real world reality depending on its application. Alright, which of the following are constant numbers? So now we're kind of getting into where I was talking about you need to identify even though there are letters, they are constant. Remember, i is equal to square root of negative 1. E is equal to 2.718. And the number goes on forever. Y, however, is a variable, so we're not going to square that one off. And again, a variable is a number that changes, and we'll talk about that in the next lesson. Which of the following are constant numbers? Okay. Well, A is not a constant number. It can change. And when I think of A, I think of any number. So A is not a constant number. 4.7, though, is constant. We're going to go ahead and square that off. Um, square root of 9.3 doesn't change. Even though it's not a whole number, it still doesn't change. It's a fixed number. 0 is a fixed number. We just talked about pi is equal to 3.14. Repeat, uh, not repeating, but goes on forever. The decimal does, so it's a fixed number. B, however, is not a fixed number. It's an example of a variable. Okay, so what are some other fixed numbers? This is kind of the end of the lesson, kind of identified. Oh, no, there's one more. I'm sorry. Which of the following are constant numbers? So, again, constant means a number that doesn't change. Um, once again, we have E. So we're going to go ahead and square that one off. Four-thirds, even though it's a fraction, it doesn't change. Let's say you had a recipe that called for four-thirds cups of milk. If you pour that out, it's going to be the same no matter what. It's not going to change that amount, right? Um, 4C, however, represents 4 times C. That is a not, not a constant number, so now we're going to square that off. C could be anything. We didn't stipulate that it was equal to anything, so therefore it changes. Same thing for F. That's a variable. We'll talk about that in the next video. M equals 2. Now, believe it or not, this is actually a constant number because we stipulated that it was equal to 2 and therefore it's not going to change. So if we had an equation with m and we said m is equal to 2, it cannot change. It will always be equal to 2. And finally, negative 11.0 certainly is not going to change. It's a negative decimal, but it's a constant number nonetheless. Okay, so in, in the real world, you know, there's not a whole lot of things that stay constant, believe it or not. A few things I can think of are um, gravity, for example, the speed at which a object falls is um, negative uh, 32 feet per second or I think it's 9.8 meters per second and some other things like that. Um, those are numbers that do not change no matter what. Those would be um, examples of constants, numbers that do not change. Okay, or I guess you could say maybe the number of eyeballs a human has. Now, you know, some people are born differently and some people might be born with one eye, I'm not sure, but for the most part that's a constant number too, right? So like I said, a lot of numbers do change in the real world. We can't always um, say it's definite, but certain things that are fixed that don't change, those are constant numbers.